Today, we push the limits of Super Mario 3D World modding with a mod that I made where most of your gameplay is on the world map instead of an actual level in this game. You're playing Super Mario 3D World, you start a new file and you end up here, but you can't access the first level because it's locked. So what do you do? Well, normally you need to complete some levels and then a bridge spawns and you can access the next part of the world, but you can actually climb up this tree here and Mario can jump over the invisible wall to the next part of the world. There's a pipe over here and I made this pipe so that it's too high for Mario to jump into, so we have to lower this pipe a bit and we have a funny looking pipe like this that Mario jumps into that is just slightly out of the ground. And this pipe takes Mario to... What? Super Bell Hill? So we climb up the tree and we get a key piece here, and it looks like we're going to need to collect four key pieces. But we're still not actually in a level, because the game still says World 1 in the top corner, so we are actually still on the world map. We can go down and explore this flooded part of the level, but there's nothing down here. If you hit this block with the Super Bell, the game actually crashes, so I put a Super Bell above the block and I left just a coin inside the block. You can't do cat swipes in the world map when you have the cat suit power up, so you can't cat swipe this Goomba, and walking into the Goomba doesn't damage you while you're on the world map. And in the distance, there's a wide Goomba that doesn't look too happy at all about seeing Mario here. Mario tries to lure this Goomba into the clear pipe, and that Goomba looks like it is in absolute shock when it is going through this pipe. Like, it is surprised that it can even fit through the pipe. Mario continues along Super Bell Hill, which is still in the world map, and he finds the next key piece up here. But he can't reach it, and he also can't climb up there because you can't climb while you're Cat Mario on the world map. Mario pops into this clear pipe and he goes very quickly in it and he gets the second key piece up here. He can't continue to the side that way because of the spike ball in the clear pipe. So Mario heads back here to try to climb up to the top part of Super Bell Hill. And look at this Mario here, it's pretty funny to see him playing this animation that he normally plays at the start of the game here when he's scared, but he's got the cat suit power up so we have a standing cat. Mario makes his way up these blocks here, which act like a makeshift set of stairs. We are still technically on the world map, and at the top here, there is a trampoline waiting for him. Mario jumps onto this trampoline, and he's able to bounce up to the higher part of the level. Mario lines up, and then he drops down onto the third key piece. He climbs up the brick block stairs again, up the trampoline on the world map again, and walks across to here, where he'll have to make a difficult jump over these blocks to the key piece. It's a bit difficult to tell exactly where you are when you're doing this, because you don't really do a lot of platforming on the world map in this game, but we got the key piece. This dash panel here does nothing, and if you get this star power up, that is your ticket to getting out of here, and you can use the clear pipe to blast out of here, making it past the spike ball since you're invincible with this star power up. Mario is now ready to continue deeper into Super Bell Hill, but he has a few choices to make here about how he wants to get to that warp box that is now unlocked. He decides to climb up onto these stone blocks and he does a jump down, making it into the warp box. We end up in World 2 now, and you can head around this area back here to get the 1-Up Mushroom that's normally here. I was thinking of maybe hiding something back here that you need to use to continue through the level. I thought this would be a nice hiding spot, but instead, there's normally a ramp here that lets you get up here after you complete some levels, so I put a tree here instead. You can climb up this tree and jump off of it onto the next part of the world. You can see down ahead here that there's normally some more of the world map kept down here, but you can see it now because I've removed the water that normally hides it. There's a P-switch to step on here, and this P-switch spawns a warp box for you. When you pop into this warp box, you end up at World 3. There are a bunch of Goombas running around here that all start running towards Mario. But we know that Mario is safe on the world map, so even if these Goombas run into Mario, Mario doesn't get hurt. Mario collects the star power up here, and with that, he can actually defeat the Goombas, because jumping on the Goombas on the world map doesn't defeat them, so we have to use the star power up. When you defeat all of these Goombas, a warp box spawns for you, and when you pop into this warp box, you might think that you'd appear at world 4 next, but you actually appear on some stone blocks with a skate beside you, and otherwise, there's just a bunch of water below you, but you are still on the world map. So Cat Mario jumps into this skate, and the skate power-up works just fine on the world map. And then you start heading along to the right, and you see a sign that shows you to continue off the path. So Mario drops down into the water. He falls below the level, and falls onto an area that might look a bit familiar. This area isn't actually here in the real game, I added this area here, and Mario skates along. When you beat World Bowser, you get access to some bonus worlds like World Mushroom, Star, and Flower, and that's where this sparkly platform comes from. I wanted to show off how weird and glitchy things get in the world map when we travel between worlds like this and remove levels, and things got surprisingly strange. I made Mario get into the rocket that's available 
available at World 1, and when he got up into the sky, it was so strange to see World Star looking like it was daytime. This is normally a lot darker when you're here, so the floor that you walk on and the planet in the distance looks so different compared to normal, and we can also see the blurred outline from the platform that the rocket ship launched from. When we make our way across World Star and head into the next rocket ship, we end up at World Mushroom, which is really bright again, and it's so strange for this world to not be as dark as it normally is. It's like we unlocked daytime mode for this level, but the brightness is too high. And when you head into this rocket at World Flower, you might expect that we'd be brought to World Crown and that we'd get to see the area around Champions Road be really bright. But because of how buggy and glitchy this mod was while I was working on it, it actually brought us back to World 1. The lighting looked really strange for a moment, but things got back to normal after a moment, and if you take the rocket ship from here again, the cycle continues. So let's go back to Mario's quest of finding the first level on the world map. After some exploring, you'll notice that there's a sign here that tells you to continue to the right, so Mario's getting ready to drop off again, and when he hits the wall for some reason, he just spawns at World 4. I did not plan for this to happen. It just happened and I was very surprised to see this. So I decided to change this so that you appear at World Crown instead, where the final level of the game, Champions Road, normally is. And instead of Champions Road being there, Mario has finally made it to the first level of the game, Super Bell Hill. Mario has gone through a lot of trouble, all on the world map, just to make it to the first level of the game. And when Mario finally enters this first level of the game, there is a nice celebration that is ready for Mario. Instead of having to make it all the way through Super Bell Hill, Mario has already done enough hard work on the world map, so this level is just a celebration to celebrate Mario making it all the way here with NPCs smiling and waving at him. And if you're wondering about how the opposite of this would work, if you'd like to see the world map made into a regular level in Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, I also have a video about that. And if you enjoyed this and you're curious about how other items and enemies affect the world map and how they work, I have a video going in depth on that, or you might enjoy my video where I test if anything can kill Mario on the world map. I've been working on making this level since my enemies and items on the world map video came out, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I thought this was a cool experiment to mix elements of the world map and regular levels together like this, since you don't really see any platforming elements used in the world map in this game. The world map is just used to travel between levels, which is often how it's used in games like this. I'm wishing all of you an amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody. Hello, it's me, the guy who made this video and made this mod. Just a reminder, face reveal at 1 million subscribers.